it says that we are live. Hello, hello. We have nobody in the room yet, but if you're watching this later, hello, my friends. I've got some coffee here. Let's see. I just got a notification that I went live. There we go. Mm -hmm. Got a couple things planned for tonight, but until we see some people pop up in here, I'm going to start following my yarn. Hello, Terry. Hello, hello. How are you tonight? Oh, so I'm just going to kind of hang out with you guys. Do not have my daughter tonight, so I was going to ball some yarn. And I printed out, sorry that the lighting is really weird, that's all I have right now. A couple fun little games, it's would you rather, so it seems kind of fun. So if you guys are kind of wondering what's going on here behind me, I'm not sure if you caught my live feed earlier, but this is my photo box, so I was debating on... Um, letting you guys see me do a tutorial. So I am going to be filming one, possibly two tutorials tonight, and I can do it after the live stream or at some point during, we'll just kind of see how it goes. But this is how I film my tutorials. So I have my tripod and, you know, I'll have my backdrop. This can change. So right now it is a white backdrop. Um, there are two lights right here on the inside. And I can turn it on, it's gonna be very bright for a moment, but. And then you can adjust the light. So um, then I just put my phone on the tripod and I go ahead and record. But what are you guys doing tonight? What do adults do when they don't have their kids? They usually just crochet, I don't know if that's what you guys do. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the game, I guess. So this is Would You Rather? So feel free to leave comments in the comment section um, of what you guys would rather. So this first one's kind of weird. Would you rather the aliens that make first contact be robotic or organic? Hmm. That's a tough one. It just depends on how smart they are. Um, I'm going to go with organic because if they weren't nice, it might possibly be easier to win if something were to go bad. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Um, I'm going to say lose the ability to read. And I say that just because... I don't know. Why would I say that? Because I think you could go without reading. I mean, as long as you can still communicate and speak with people, I think I'd rather be able to speak with people. Would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? Um, I have no idea what that means. If any of you guys know what that means, let me know because I have no idea. Um, would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? Uh, I'm going to go with fur because scales, ugh, you could only go one way. So I would definitely go with fur. Mm. I have some coffee here. Let's go ahead and work on balling this yarn. So this yarn that I'm working with is Red Heart's Unforgettable in the color springtime. I don't know how true to color I can get this. There we go. But I'm going to go ahead and ball this stuff up because I really want to make kind of like a summer um, uh, kimono type thing. And I want it to be really lightweight and I want it to be airy. And so I'm going to use this, even though it's unforgettable and it says that it's a four weight, I say that it's more like a three weight. I even asked this really sweet older lady that was in the yarn shop with me. Um, well, it was Ben Franklin, so it's just a craft store. But she was um, looking at some stuff and I decided to ask her what she was making. And um, 
what she thought of the colors and she helped me pick a color. And so she was really, really sweet. And then she asked me for her opinion or my opinion on what she should get. She had a couple colors um, picked out and there's like the kits that you can buy and they come with the little um, animal heads that you can attach to the hat. And so it's like a whole kit to make a, you know, a cute little hat. And so she wanted to make one for her husband. It was so cute. And so I helped her pick one out. Um, there was like a panda bear one and a little wolf and what was the other one? Gosh, I can't remember what the other one was, but it was blue and it was white. And I, I liked that one out of all of them. And she's like, I like that one too. And so then I had my yarn and I went to go up to the checkout. Hello. Hello. How are you this evening? So we went to the, so I went to the yarn checkout and, you know, this little old lady was in front of me, the one that had helped me pick out the color for my yarn. So she's in front of me and she's, you know, talking about what year she was graduated or something and then asked the cashier, you know, how old she would have been at that time. And it was a long time ago. She, you know, obviously <laughs> was around my age. So she was like, I wasn't even a thought at that point. They had a nice little giggle. She's like, I'll see you next time. And so the lady leaves and then I'm next in line and the checkout lady tells me that that woman comes in there a lot. You know, she's like us. She loves yarn. She loves to, I don't know if she crochets or knits. We didn't get that far into it. Um, and she said she always has fun little facts, you know, or little tidbits about her life. Like, uh, she said back in the day, this old, you know, this woman told her that when she was younger, she had put on a really short skirt and danced on a bar. And like, it's just so funny because she's a little frail old woman and it was just, and she was buying yarn, you know, and she goes in there all the time and buys yarn. It was just really, really cute. And, um, that was a really good highlight of my lunch. I actually went there and then I jumped onto a live, uh, it wasn't very long, but I just wanted to pop in and say hi. So I did. Mm. So it is six o'clock where I'm at. I'm drinking coffee, balling yarn. I do have a couple little um, printouts of would you rather. So I'm just going to kind of ball my yarn. I'm going to do a tutorial and I was debating on doing that with you guys, but I'm just going to kind of see how that is. I might turn this off and do that. <laughs> Let's jump back over to these questions. Um, if you guys crochet or knit, you know, I'd love to know what you're working on or what's your current whip and foes. Um, okay, let's see. What's a good one? Oh, would you rather have one real get out of jail free card or a key that opens any door? So if you guys want to participate in this, go ahead and... <laughs> Comment over in the box or wherever the box is for you guys. So, okay. So would I rather have a, a real get out of free jail card or key that opens any door? Um, because I've never been to jail and I've never been arrested and I don't think I'm going to have that issue. I'm going to go with the key that would open any door. Although not all doors are meant to be opened. So... Who knows how well that would go. Um, let's see. Would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? Oh, hmm. I would say be able to talk to animals just because... That would be awesome. I don't I don't think I'd want to know the history of everything I touched. I think that I would stop touching things. That's just my opinion. Okay. Would you rather be able to talk to land animals that fly or animals that live under the water? Animals that live under the water. Are you kidding me? That one's I don't even have to think about. Not even a little bit. So I'm not sure if you guys do this with your crochet or your yarn. I just like to go ahead and ball that up. Oh, what'd you guys have for dinner? Have you eaten yet? What time is it where you are? Like I said, it's like six o'clock, 6 p.m. here. Terry. 
Uh, Martinez. Did I say that right? Are you still with me? Oh, my lanterns. I have three balls of this. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use, so I think I'm going to just ball one at a time as I need it. Let's see what else is going on here. So I have my phone right here. And no, I'm not going to do that. I'll keep doing this. Oh, hello. Queen Bee babies and stuff. Hello. I like your name. Do you have a channel? Do you post videos? Is it about babies? Um, I used to do cloth diapers and I have two videos from like five, four or five years ago, I want to say. They're the first videos that I ever posted. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so right now I am just balling up some yarn. I have about three skeins of it right here. And this behind me, for those uh, who have just joined, it is my photo box. And I use it to make my crochet tutorials. Yes, reborn babies. Very nice. I will have to go check out your channel. I have my phone here. Let's actually go see here. Wonderful, wonderful. I will have to go check those out. I'm always looking for new channels to check out and listen to. When I'm at work, I like to pop a headphone in and just listen to things. It's mostly crochet tutorials or crochet related, but you know, always looking for new stuff. Okay, so let's flip back over to this guy. Um, would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? Um, hmm. I don't know. I guess never have to stand in line again. That's that's the one I'll go with. Uh, would you rather spend the rest of your life in a sailboat as your home or an RV as your home? I'm going to go with RV. I don't really have to think about that because um, the ocean scares me. I also share my crochet items on my channel. Oh, wonderful. That's exciting. That's like, I'm always, always, always ears perk up when I hear crochet. What? Crochet. Sweet. I'll have to go check that out. Um, so I just kind of printed out a couple of these things. It's would you rather, and I have a ton of them. I'm just going to kind of skip through them. So if you guys want to, you know, answer what you think, go ahead and, and throw that in the comments. Okay. Would you rather give up all drinks except for water or give up eating anything that was cooked in an oven? Um, give up all, well, you can't give up all things except water. Cause I mean like juice and stuff. That's good. You need that. Can you, can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Let's see. You can, you guys can hear me right now. I just moved cords around. Um, no. Chris. Digo Crochet, can you hear me? You said you could. Can everybody else hear me? Uh, 
Okay. 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 Everybody can hear me now. Perfect. Okay. Wow. Did I, <laughs> did I have that going that whole time with no sound? Sorry. Well, if you didn't hear me and all you guys was just watching me move around, that's, that's cool too. So I printed out, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard this, but I printed out, uh, would you rathers. And so I have quite a few pages of them. And so I'm just kind of reading through them as I'm balling my yarn here. I've got my crochet photo box in the back. So I'm going to be filming a tutorial tonight. I kind of wanted you guys to see like how my setup is, you know, what I've got going on and just kind of reading through these. So as I go through these questions, feel free to answer in the uh, comments if you guys want to. Um, okay. Would you rather be able to see 10 minutes into your own future or 10 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself? Um, anyone but myself. I don't, I don't think that I'd want to know my own future. 10 minutes into my own future. Well, I mean, I guess that's not bad, but that would still change the course of a lot of stuff. Would you rather have an easy job working for somebody else or work yourself, but incredibly hard. That one's easy. Working for myself, but incredibly hard. Anyone but myself. <laughs> I would love to work for myself. Um, for my crochet tutorial, I'm going to be making um, a water bottle holder. So it's super simple. And then I have a tassel bohemian bag that I'm also going to try and knock out tonight. So. I'm actually drinking coffee to try and stay awake. Let's see, do you go working for myself? Yes, Chris, for myself, yes. You know, some people prefer to just work, you know, for somebody else. And like right now, that's cool. Like, I, I don't know. I don't mind doing what other people tell me and that's great, but I kind of like to have a little bit more control over, you know, my own day because life is short. And I think that we should all be able to have the capability to say, hey, my kid has a thing at 10 o'clock and I don't have to ask my boss if I have to go. You can just go because that's something that's important. Um, but the ball that I'm winding up, it's this unforgettable red heart yarn. And I'm going to make a, um, oh gosh, what are they called? Kind of like a kimono. So I want to do it with a bigger hook. This stuff's pretty thin and I want to use, I mean, not a big hook, but a five millimeter hook. Yeah. An H and do it kind of meshy. So I want it open so you can wear it in the spring and summer and it's not going to be hot. Um, so I'm, I want to do a tutorial on this. So I'm just balling it because I'm going to start the project and film the tutorial at the same time, just kind of as I'm making it. All right, let's move on to the next question. Would you rather be the first person to explore a planet or be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease? Um, cure a deadly disease. I think that one's pretty easy. Would you rather go back to age five with everything you know now or know everything your future self will learn? Let's read that one again. <laughs> Would you rather go back to the age of five with everything that you know now or know everything your future self will learn? So like being how you are now, but know the future. Um, I don't think I would want either of those. I don't want to know my future. I think that's kind of what makes life exciting because we get to pick it. So if we knew what was going to happen, then it would feel like we have no control over our own lives. Like what the heck? Oh, wow. My sister just texted me. My brother-in-law got me a present. How sweet of him. Let's see here. Uh, Digo Crochet Inventor. Yes, exactly. And neither. Yeah, me neither. I wouldn't want to. Um, would you rather be able to control animals, but not humans with your mind or control electronics with your mind? 
Ooh, that one's fun. Okay, so would you rather be able to control animals, not humans, but animals with your mind or control electronics with your mind? Oh, that's hard. I wouldn't, I'm not going to go with an animal because I, I wouldn't want to control another living creature because that's not right. Um, and with controlling electronics, dude, you could, you could do a lot of things with that. You could do a lot of good things with that. Um, let's see, Queen Baby or Queen Bee, Baby and Stuff says, I would like to go back five to five year old person. Not a care in the world, not a stress of adulting. But here's the thing though, is you would have to go back to being five, knowing everything you know now. So imagine that though. You go back to five and you would have to like ensure like your whole like your childhood would be different. I, I mean if you could go back and not have everything that you know now, that one would probably be better. Electronics, electronics, yes. Oh no, I've got a wind up here. That's not good. Let's pay attention to the yarn for a moment. If this fix, this stuff has like those little hairs. Um, so they get caught on each other very easily. And so like if you're working on a project and it gets messed up and you have to unwind it. It is super hard to unwind it. You have to be very easy, very, very delicate, or else it will just come apart and break. Um, let's see here. Almost, almost. I think that those, not really sure how to fix that. There we go. So it looks like that part just got a little frayed. Not sure if I could cut that off. It might break the yarn. Any suggestions? I guess I'm just gonna have to cut it and tie it because that section is gonna be pretty thin where I guess I can just pull this off. I don't want scissors right here. It'll just take me one second. Let me grab scissors. Oh, all right. Turning the page to the next question. Would you rather have an unlimited international first class tickets or never have to pay for food at restaurants? Have an unlimited international first class ticket. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I'm scared to fly. I'm scared of planes, but that can give you a lot of, um, Ability. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut the frayed part. I'm going to keep the yarn. I think that should be okay. There we go. Okay, so unlimited international first class tickets. We never have to pay for food in restaurants. Um, I'm going to go with the tickets, even though I'm scared of planes, because I don't, I don't know. I just think that that would be better because I would probably just eat out too much. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm scared of flying. I don't see. So that one's a little, that's a little shocking to me that I would pick that one. Honestly, you might learn something about yourself if you play this with me. Um, would you rather see what was behind every closed door or be able to guess the combination of every safe on the first try? Hmm. Would you rather be able to see what was behind every door or be able to guess the combination of every safe on the first try? Um, well, I don't feel the need to break into anybody's safe. Hello, handmade design. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm just balling some yarn and we're playing a game here. So feel free to join along. Um, so with that one, I'm going to say, I guess, see behind every closed door. And then I would be an awesome inventor and I would make some glasses to where I can put them on if I didn't want to see behind doors. And that's what I would say. <clears throat> Doing great here. Doing great. We're just hanging out and 
relaxing. I think Wednesdays are going to be the days that I'm going to be able to actually like sit down and live stream for until we decide to stop. And I'm going to play games and do stuff with crochet, whether it be just crocheting in the background or, you know, whatever you guys want. But hello, Mary Beth. How are you? Not that I would do this, but the safe, because I would not want to see what's in others' bedrooms. Yeah, see, that's why I would have to invent some some glasses, because <laughs> it could, I don't, yeah, I don't think I'd want to see behind every door either, and I think I'd just always walk with my head down. <laughs> right? Okay. Would you rather be an average person in the present or a king of a large country 2,500 years ago? <clears throat> um, I don't know. Can I be a queen? I think I'd be a queen 2,500 years ago. I'll be Daenerys Targaryen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she was not, I mean, at the end of it, I mean, she was great up until the end, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. So what about you guys? Would you rather be an average person in the present or a king or queen of a large country 2,500 years ago? I mean, that's a long time ago. I mean, that would, I think that would be pretty cool, but you're still living like in the Stone Age. So, I mean, that's still pretty hard either way. Um, next one, would you rather be able to dodge anything, no matter how fast it's moving or be able to ask any three questions and have them answered accurately? Well, that one just kind of lame. Obviously I'd want to be able to dodge stuff. So are you guys working on any crochet or are you guys just kind of hanging out? I know that, um, yes, dodging stuff, definitely. <laughs> the second one, like, doesn't even compare to the first question. So I didn't really look through these before I came on here. I actually just printed them up before I left work because I wanted something kind of fun for us to do and we can all kind of play together. Um... Would you rather be forced to dance every time you heard music or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? Um, sing along because how are you supposed to drive a car? I mean, like, I guess you'd have to drive a car with no music, but what if you drove and then the person next to you had music on? You just have to start dancing. So, yeah. Working on my first granddaughter's clothes. Yay! Congratulations. That's exciting. When does she do? Yay. I love babies. My coworker, um, he just had a baby, him and his wife. And I uh, made them a really cute baby hat. Sing along. Yeah. Working on a temperature. Nice. Very nice. Um. Yeah, so with my with my coworker, I ended up also giving him a baby blanket. So I'd started to knit one because I can knit and crochet. I started out with knitting and then I moved to crochet. Um, and so I, I started to knit this baby blanket for a friend a while back and I never got it made and her baby's, you know, quite a few years old now. And so I ended up finishing the blanket and I got it to him and his wife and they were just ecstatic because they um, it's their third daughter. And the first two girls, they had handmade blankets and this new baby, nobody made her a blanket, but I did. And I have only known, you know, the husband, cause he works at my work, um, for six months and, but he's goofy and silly. And, uh, you know, I was just, I love babies are so cute. And so I figured that I would gift them with that. And his wife was so excited. She was super, super happy. So I was ecstatic. Let's see. Uh, I am working on a baby dress. I started last night and I'm almost done. Believe it or not, I'm very nice. That is so awesome. Good job. Have you been like working on it day and night or um, do you have to, you know, do what we have to do and, and go to work or work? I just want to be free. Let me pick up my yarn here. 
Um, let's see what we got going on. Sing alongs, definitely. I'm a singer. I'm working on summer stuff. She is, oh, she's eight months old, so she's already here. Well, congratulations. I started out knitting too, but lost interest when I started crocheting. Yeah, I think that um, it's easier to adjust things. So my issue with knitting is I had kind of like a hard time picking up stitches if I would drop them. And it turned me off to knitting. I mean, like, I still do it, but the teacher, the woman who taught me how to knit has passed away, unfortunately. Um, she was older. And she passed away. And so when I have knitting questions, you know, I'm a little bit more hesitant, I guess, to get help. I could always go to my local craft store and um, they help people. You know, they actually have um, sit down and knits, which is awesome, where you sit down um, and everybody just gets together and they knit and crochet and they do this once a week, I want to say. I never go just because I'm antisocial. And honestly, I'm doing it right now with you guys. So I don't need to do it there. <laughs> They're really nice, though. I enjoy their company when I go into the yarn store. I think I'm going to do a center pull from now on. This one's getting all messed up. Okay, let's do another question. Let me try and brief these before I actually go into it. Um, would you rather 5% of the population have telepathy or 5% of the population to have telekinesis? You are not part of the 5% that has telepathy or telekinesis. Hmm, that one's a little interesting. Um... telekinesis. Isn't that the one where they would be able to move things with their mind, I believe it is? Because I don't think that I would want somebody to be able to hear my thoughts. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think I'd want that even if I was part of the 5%. Um, let's take a look here. Would you rather be able to move to a new city or town every every week or be able or never be able to leave the town that you were born in so would you rather be able to move to a new city or town every single week or never be able to leave the town or city that you were born in um i'll go with never be able to leave the town i was born in <laughs> my wi-fi signal is very weak sorry i don't know how long it will work i'll stay as long as i can Okay, well, you know, if you end up having to go, we'll miss you. But, you know, thank you for coming just in case you, you do go. Um, I'm also crocheting a baby dress. See, that's something I never made for my daughter. That's so awesome. I'd love to see pictures. I'm on Instagram. Uh, it's dream Nine design on Instagram. And um, I have some pictures on there. And you guys can actually, you know, in, what is it, DM direct message. I'm 28 and I, I'm not, <laughs> I almost just dropped my heart and I'm not good at keeping up with the, the younger lingo. Like I just found out what YOLO means. Isn't it like you only live once? I never knew that. I thought it was like a drug sling. And so <laughs> I just never used it. I never said it. I didn't understand it. And I just found out that it means you only live once. And that's crazy. So, I don't know. That's something I learned today. Would you rather travel the world for a year on a shoestring budget or stay in one country for a year but live luxurious? Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm not saying this because of the luxury. I would choose to live in one country for a year just because I'm not one for traveling. I like to have my home base. I like to have my, this is my area. This is my space. And if I was to be traveling on a very little dime, I don't think that I would be in one spot for very long, you know, cause you'd have to hop around. I don't know. That's just mine. Oh 
live luxurious. Yeah. Cause then we could have like a huge yarn room, <laughs> all the yarn we wanted. That would be fun. That's a dream. I think that's a dream for all of us. Yeah. I live in one place for a year. I'm the same. Like I would be fine with like a little tiny house, a little cabin in the middle of the woods. Take it. It doesn't have to be luxurious. I'm just not a big traveler. Would you rather suddenly be elected? Okay. Would you rather suddenly be elected a senator or suddenly become a CEO of a major company? You won't have any more knowledge about how to do your job other than you do right now. So like, you don't know it. So I don't know how to be a CEO or, or a Senator. So let's see here. Um, Hmm. A Senator. Cause with that, you could actually make potentially make a change in real things. Um, a CEO, not so much. I don't think so. All right. Next question. Would you rather live in a virtual reality where you are all powerful or live in the real world and be able to go anywhere, but not be able to act, interact with anyone or anything? Would you rather live in a virtual reality where you are all powerful or lived in the real world? And be able to go anywhere, but not be able to interact with anyone or anything. Um, virtual reality, if I had to choose, yeah, neither, right? Because <sighs> virtual reality is not real. So that means that you are going to be somewhere, like in a chair. And the other one, yeah, not so much. What do you guys think? Oh, almost down to the end here. So I'm only going to do one ball at a time when I do this um, tutorial, I think. Um, <laughs> this is a good one. Um, would you rather have whatever you were thinking to appear above your head for everyone to see and have absolutely everything you do live streamed? Wait. Or, okay, so would you rather have a, you know, a bubble appear over your head with what you're saying, or would you rather have absolutely everything you do live streamed for everyone to see? So a bubble above your head so people can read your thoughts or live streamed, like, consecutively with everything you do. <laughs> hmm, that's a thinker. Neither. I'd have to have some interaction with people. Um, yeah, but see with virtual reality, it's so real. Would you really know that it wasn't real? You know, question, question mark. Um, okay. So for the bubble or the live stream, I would say a bubble because then I would crochet my bubble and a hat that it would, or a bag, it would be my bubble bag. And every time a bubble swooped up, I'd go, <laughs> then nobody could see my bubble. That's, that's what I would do. Hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah, some of these are kind of weird. There's about a hundred of them here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but it's kind of fun, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. I have to say, well, if you had to choose, like if you had to, like those were, those were your options. I don't think I know. Cause I don't even know what a rotten tomato score is for movies. Do you guys know what a rotten tomato score is? I have no idea. I would live stream cause mind reading can be taken the wrong way, right? Just like text messages could totally be taken the wrong way. <laughs> live streaming could be too though. Because, I don't know. Funny, would you rather? Okay. Would you rather be a reverse centaur, 
And I think that's like a goat person where the bottom half is a goat and the top half is a person. So a reverse centaur or a reverse mermaid or merman. Um, hmm. You'd either be a goat wearing pants or a fish wearing pants. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Now these ones are supposed to be funny. I would love. Oh yeah. I already read that one. Okay. Um, would you rather your only mode of transportation monkey or a giraffe? Um, hmm. A giraffe would be really awesome, but it'd be really hard to get on a giraffe every single time. And are they faster? Probably way faster than a donkey is. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with a giraffe. Yeah. A giraffe over a donkey. I have a donkey. His name is John. His name's John Burroughs. And we got him uh, from the Wild Burrow um, adoption place. I think it was in Nevada, I believe. It was a really long time ago. So I'm going to go with a giraffe because that's pretty cool. Would you rather be, would you rather only, what? Would you rather only be to use, I think that's supposed to say be able. Would you rather only be able to use a fork, no spoon, or only be able to use a spoon and no fork. Um, a spoon, that one's not really funny or interesting. <laughs> Would you rather every shirt you ever wear be kind of itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? <laughs> That's horrible. Well, how much toilet paper do I get? Hmm. <laughs> um, one ply toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. A spoon, right? Because you can do a lot more with a spoon than you can a fork. I mean, because we have a spoon, you might have a knife. You never know. Fork. Ooh, really? I'd like to know why you, you would choose that one. I mean, I guess, hmm, anything that you would really need a spoon to like drink with? Like I'm thinking cereal. You can't really have cereal with a fork, but there's lots of other things that you could eat. So, um, well, this one's weird. Would you rather have edible spaghetti hair that regrows every night or sweat maple syrup? Edible spaghetti hair that regrows every night. Um, I'm going to go with spaghetti hair <laughs> because... I say that because um, sweaty maple syrup, that's so messy, super messy, at least with spaghetti hair, you don't have to have sauce in it, and whenever you got hungry, you could just eat your hair, spaghetti hair. A fork is easier for me, yeah, yeah, and especially because, I mean, it'd be hard to eat a steak with a spoon. I mean, I guess you could just use your fingers or the other side of your, ooh, you could use the other side of your fork to stab it. Um, would you rather wear a wedding dress or a tuxedo every single day or wear a bathing suit every single day? What do we got here coming in for spaghetti hair? Spaghetti hair. Totally spaghetti hair. Yeah. All the way. Okay, so wear a dress every single day or wear a bathing suit every single day. Um, I'm going to go with a bathing suit. I, I wouldn't want to wear a wedding dress every day. I've never been married, so I don't know. But apparently those things are expensive for one. And for two, they're like, like I don't know. Some of them are big. Not all of them. But I'm going to go with a bathing suit. A dress? Yeah, see, and some people will be more comfortable in a dress. I think that, mm, yeah, that one's kind of hard because if it's winter time, you don't exactly just want to be in a bathing suit. Dress, dress. Yep, we got two on dress. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, it'd have to be a one piece. Okay, so my neighbors are outside. They probably think I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, would you rather have 
all dogs try to attack you when they see you or all birds try to attack you when they see you. Neither. I don't want to be attacked. Let's just skip that one. Would you rather be compelled to high five everyone you meet or be compelled to give wedgies to anyone in a green shirt? Would you rather? Um, a high five. I don't want to give people wedgies because they're in green shirts. That's just rude. <laughs> Who thinks of these things? I just went to Google and typed in um, funny questions to, I don't know exactly what I typed. I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl. Same here. Exactly. Wedgie. <laughs> You know, like, would you warn people though? Be like, dude, dude, you got you got a green shirt on. I I have to, or girl, I have to. Oh my gosh, that's pretty funny though. My coffee is cold. <clears throat> okay, would you rather have skin that changes colors based on your emotions, or tattoos? appear all over your body, dissipating, oh, depicting what you did yesterday. Hmm. Tattoos, because then I could hide, like, just because they appear all over your body doesn't mean other people have to see them. And I, I, I don't know, we all have to kind of hide our emotions sometimes. So I think that that's a one I would not want. <laughs> um, let's see here. Would you rather be a perpendicular water balloon or going in your what? Or a food fight? Oh, perpetual. Would you rather there be a perpetual water balloon war going on in your town or a perpetual food fight? Mm hmm. water because that'll <laughs> that'll dry up. <clears throat> I'm not trying to have a whole town covered in food and then ooh. oh there's my dog blue. Stop licking yourself, Goober. Yeah, that's my puppy back there. More a uh, leggings and hoodie type girl if you want to be technical. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like to do that when I'm hanging out at home. I don't really like to go excuse me, in public very much. So, but yeah, when I'm at home, I usually like to have like comfy clothes on. I still have my work clothes on right now because I was really excited to jump on with you guys. <laughs> okay. Would you, oh, that's just weird. I'm going to skip that one. Um, would you rather become twice as strong when both of your fingers when both of your fingers are stuck in your ears or crawl twice as fast as you can run. <laughs> so if you do this, you become twice as strong as you are, or you can crawl faster than you can run. Um, I don't know the fingers in my ear, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Weird, weird, weird. Maybe I should have read through all these before I printed them out. Um, a sandwich, what? Would you rather be a famous director or a famous actor? I'm going to go with director because they're not so much like in the limelight, like famous actresses and actors. That's just my thing. There's a lot more, but I'm going to stop with that for now. I am going to, um start filming my tutorial here soon. I actually have my purse down here. Sorry. This is the boho bag, the tapestry boho bag. And somebody is at my door. Hold on, you guys. Ooh. Hi, come here, bud. You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of a YouTube live stream, so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You better come first to come back. Um, I'm not sure right now. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ooh, fix my pillow. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so here we are. This is the boho tassel bag. I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen that, so I am going to be memorial for this one uh, this evening. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this one done. And kind of coming apart here. This is the water bottle cover that I am making currently for my bottle. So it's a it's a big bottle. And so it's just like that. And I'm not sure how long I'm gonna make the strap. I don't know if I want it to be like a carry purse type. Um or just to have like a nice little handle to hold on to. But when I jump off of this live with you guys, which I'm probably going to do here fairly shortly, um, I'm going to start working on this tutorial. So it's got a solid bottom. So it's got extra support. So it's not all mesh. Um, because when you have a big bottle like this, you know, you don't want it to slouch. So this is going to be the first one of the tutorials I'm going to get done tonight because it is going to be a little bit faster. Um, and then the bag, it's not, in the tutorial, it's not going to be these exact colors. I might actually have to go grab a thing um, of yarn because I'm not sure. I don't think I have any more stuff like this. Um, and I actually, gosh, I wish I had a laptop so I could take you guys into my bedroom with me. I have the coolest, like it was an old cubby shelf thing for like little kids in the school. So it's really, really, really long. And it's got, I want to say five or six cubbies like this way. And then it goes on for 12 cubbies the other way. So it's like super big. And I have all my yarn in there. I have some projects in there. On the top part of it, I have a little setup with, um, typically this is in there. This is my little cup that I keep my stitch markers in. Um, so I typically have that in there. And then I have all my crochet hooks and everything else. So when I can get a laptop or when I get to a thousand subscribers, I can take my phone and live stream and then I can actually show you guys in there. But right now I only have a desktop, so I'm not able to do that. But anyway, so I might have to go grab a ball to do this. So I guess saying that, it's like 6.45 right now. And I should probably hit the yarn store before they close and start working on these because then I have to clean my house. And I have to go to work tomorrow. But apparently it's a four-day weekend. And so my daughter is not going to be in school Friday or Monday. That's okay. But I think I might have to take one of those days off because I can't take both of the days off. And I have, so far, I don't have a babysitter for Friday. I asked my sister, but she has to work. So that's okay. I might get an extra day with her and then we can go to the park. It'd be totally awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the bag... I don't know. I just kind of winged that one. I just kind of making something and that's what it ended up becoming. And when I made it and I showed it to people at my work, my dog's drinking water right now. When I made it and showed it to the people at my work, they were like, it looks like a hat. They said it looks like it should be, you know, like a Christmas hat. Like, a <laughs> like that. That's what they all said it should let it get looked like. And I was like, no, it's a bag, obviously. There's there's a strap. But um yeah, and the water bottle holders, they don't take very much yarn. It's very minimal yarn. And um they're they're decently fast to do things, you know. I sometimes I like to just have a, a quick easy easy project to sit down and do and get it knocked out and then I feel like I accomplished something even if it's just a small water bottle holder but um it just makes it easier because then it's less room less you know that I have to put into my purse and I don't have to worry about it and then the cool thing is you know even though it has a strap you'll still be able to like drink from it <laughs> Um, 
but yeah, again, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you think I should make it like a long strap to like wear or kind of just like, I don't know, like a big enough one to just hold on to. I'm not sure on that yet, but I'm about to do a tutorial. So I, I better figure it out. I think I'm going to make it a long hanging one because I made the strap wide enough that it's easily able to support all the weight. But that's pretty much what I've got going on over here. Um, I really, really, really want to start this. I have two more balls or two more skeins that I have to ball. I'm not sure how much this project is going to take, but I'm really excited to get that bottle tutorial done and the bag tutorial done so that I can start working on this tutorial. I'm so excited. I think it's going to look great. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys caught my other live stream. This is like a little doily guy that I made up. And I like to put it in my bedroom and I have um, a big white candle. That's, you know, it's in a glass thing, but I like to put that on, on this guy. But this one's fairly simple and easy to make, and it's relatively large, too, which I like. Um, I almost made it into a bag. Like, this was going to be the bottom part of a bag, and then I was going to start closing it up and then line the bag, which I may end up actually designing that because it would be really, really cute. My coworker, uh, she, before she moved away, she would always help me think of ideas. She was this really awesome uh, lady who was a little bit older than me. So she had a lot of, um, she's seen a lot of crochet stuff in her lifetime. And so she had a lot of really good like tips and ideas of like, Hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? But wouldn't that be gorgeous for the bottom of a bag? I mean, obviously it would have to be lined because of the holes, but I think that, that would be really, really nice for a bag. Hmm. I think I just found another tutorial. Okay, so something I need to do, because I have so many tutorials I want to make for you guys. I'm going to make Wednesday my live stream day, and then I'm going to try to post at least one tutorial each week. So this week, I'm hoping to get out two for you guys, and then I'm going to stop for a moment and work on this project, because I think you guys are going to love it. I'm going to love it. I really want it in my wardrobe for when the weather changes, because it's starting to get warm here. And so I, I really want to get this made. So yes, that is my plan. But I do want to get like a journal so I can map out exactly what I want to make for you guys, because I have so many things I want to make. And if you guys have any requests on tutorials that you would like to see, you know, just let me know and I'll make those for you guys. Um, the larger projects like the, um, what did I call it? A um, kimono type thing. So it's not going to have sleeves. It's just going to um, be three separate panels. So there's going to be two front panels and then one solid panel for the back. I'm not sure on the stitches because I'm just going to play with it and kind of, um, I might do a swatch before, you know, I actually start to kind of figure out how I want to do my rows, but they're fairly simple, fairly beginner friendly, and it's going to be really, really cute. And so I, I'm excited about this one. So after I do those two videos, take a break and then I'll probably release that one on Saturday. I will also be releasing on Saturday. I have a yarn giveaway going on in my channel. If you guys don't know, it's for a Nako's yarn. I wish I had it out here. It's, it's in my bedroom right now. Um, but it's for Nako yarn. And all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You go ahead and like that video and leave a comment with the keyword. Well, there's a shadow um, with the keyword and then you're entered to win. So then I go on and I get a random generator and I randomly generate and pick a winner and I do a video. So like I'll grab my phone, I'll be on the computer and then I'll record it. And then I throw that into the video. And then um, something I did learn recently is it is very expensive to ship internationally. So 
if my winner is international, I do have to ask if they can pay for half of the shipping. And if they can't, then I will do an Amazon uh, gift card. So I actually did a live stream and somebody suggested that. And so if the winner, um, you know, maybe not even ask somebody if they can pay for it. I think I'll just say, you know, if you're international, um, you will get an Amazon gift card because I went to go ship two international packages. I had one that I have to send to Belgium and another package to send to Australia. And one of them has a one, one yard cut of fabric. And then the other one is some yarn and it was going to cost me over $60 to ship both of those. So I can do it. <laughs> and so, um, unfortunately I think with those giveaways, I am going to have to, um, do it in a gift card, but, um, I, you know, I would love to do that because I like to do giveaways. So I think everybody, you know, and even if you get the Amazon gift card, then you, you know, get to go search for yarn and find. But, um, that's pretty much the rest of my night. I'm going to be signing off here in a moment. And I hope you hanging out with me. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go through for next time, for next um, stream Wednesday. And so, you know, I could even do it from six to seven. I think next time I'll have a set time, but um, I'll print out a couple more of these. I'll actually kind of vent through them before and I'll do sillier questions. We could even play that um, Never Have I Ever game. That one's really fun. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Never Have I Ever. So there's like questions and I don't know. It can get fun. I had fun with you guys today. Yes, that was awesome. Because if I was eating my spaghetti here right now. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to sign off. This was just kind of a random, fun, silly live stream, and I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you can, if you guys are ever on any other live streams, if they allow it, please ask if you could do a shout out for me to help grow my channel. Um, it would mean a lot because I really do like teaching you all, and I think that I have a lot of really cool tutorials coming out that people are going to enjoy. So if you guys could do that, it'd be much appreciated. I love that you were all here with me. I hope to see you all next Wednesday and have a great rest of your night.